Okay, we're going to uh, produce a circular pattern for this slitting saw model. Uh, we have the original uh, extrude already um, created here based on a single sketch and you can see the worksheet on the Weebly website for, for this, um, this part. So insert a new sketch onto uh, one of the faces and it helps to be uh, normal to that uh, sketch plane um, to, to visualize and dimension the sketch. So we start off by drawing a line just anywhere in space really um, and we can define it later and a useful tool now if we go back to um, the end point of a line while still active in the line tool we automatically go into a, a tangent arc mode and the second line can be added tangential to that arc. Uh, the convert entity tool is really useful and we're going to convert uh, the outside edge of the um, initial uh, feature and that's a, that maintains a good parametric uh, link so if we change size of the initial feature um, the circle of, in this sketch will change size um, um, to, to follow um, and that relation is a, an on edge relation uh, so we can add now a few dimensions and a few relations to fully define this sketch so a vertical and a coincident on that first point and a coincident um, on the point and the circle and dragging the sketch we can see that uh, maintains to a dimensioning we can add a center line if needed and smart dimension between two lines um, allows us to place an angled dimension and the position or placing of uh, the dimension um, allows us to choose different um, the different angles and the same for the second line positioning that uh, dimension allows us to select the different uh, range of angles now if we drag um, the sketch after adding the, the radius uh, we can see the sketch shape is being um, held it doesn't sort of wander around so much and we can add the final dimension to fully define this sketch now if we just hide the solid we need to uh, note what the sketch looks like at the moment uh, we don't really have one enclosed area and we need to trim away the unwanted part of that converted circle so the trim to closest with the scissors works nicely and is probably a good trim tool to start with and then trim uh, with power trim uh, is great it's uh, you can do lots of trimming very quickly uh, but just be aware you will trim anything that uh, uh, the cursor crosses in the in the sketch um, the end condition for the cut feature um, rather than a four male blind cut we want the tooth form to be cut through so uh, select through all in the end condition and then we're ready to pattern uh, the circular pattern is underneath linear pattern in the um, features tab and we set this up by selecting a radial edge that sets the axis of uh, rotation uh, the number of um, items in the pattern and then the item that we want to pattern which is the cut which we can select graphically or in the feature tree and we can tick OK to that uh, check out uh, the website for the blog and the write-up and extra um, worksheets thanks for watching